One of the few aliens that he can turn to is way big. One of the few that's actually stronger than forearms and even diamond head. Some of the other strong aliens. You can get an idea of how strong he is based on other beings that use this species or other aliens that is the same species as race. See what they can do. It kind of applies to Ben if we see another species does the same thing as this way big species. I mean, you know he's a beast when at the end of one of the movies, way big come out as like a special alien that was like the trump card, right? They made a big deal out of its power. Just by default, you know they're strong because the species literally are 100 feet tall. So just based on that, you already know he's way stronger than the average alien just from being like weight size scaling. Just like if Ant-Man was to grow to the size of a city, he would have to have city levels of strength if he's just that massive. Or he wouldn't be able to even stand up. That's the same thing with way big. He has to have the physical strength to be able to support his own weight. So that automatically makes him at a certain level of strength. Just from the size alone without even seeing any feats. Beings in these species are born in cosmic storms. They have no home planet. Cosmic storms is how they're created. They are the rarest species in the universe. I would like to think that the more rare, the more powerful. Wouldn't you say? Supply and demand, right? All these red areas on way big's body is actually metal. It's kind of proven when Kevin touches a piece of him, he can transform to it. Showing that it's not alive. Gunfire is literally a joke to way big. Nothing to him. Too strong for Vilgax. As strong as robots. Overpowered. Alien. Notice how Vilgax couldn't break his grip. One of the main villains of the show. Literally throws him to space casually. Vilgax is able to cause all that destruction. He can pick up other beings that are the same strength as him. Other species basically like him. Slams them through buildings. Yeah, they're bigger than buildings. Giant Mosquito get murked. Picks up this car. Throws it that hard. That far. He lifts this massive jump gate that actually is bigger than his actual size. Showing his actual strength. Accidentally destroys a statue like his size. And it was made of a special material. What's it made of? Neutronium carbon alloy. This hyperspace jump gate way big lifted up. Other Ben 10 YouTubers like Ink Tank did calculations on Way Big's feet thanks to the density of this metal that Way Big lifted up. This portal gate that dwarfed him in size, they estimated scaling with the metal that this gate was made of, plus the size of Way Big, plus the size of the thing that Way Big lifted up. Way big can lift the freaking moon up. Thanks to Death Battle, they calculated the weight of the moon for me, so I wouldn't have to. That way big can lift. Thanks to this feat, he can lift over 70 quintillion tons. Not to mention, most people can strike harder than what they can lift, so more than likely, way big can punch harder than this force he can lift. Multiple ultimate aliens that kind of gangbang him. He smacked away. Get the heck out of my way. He fought this giant trash monster. Beings that are like him in size, respect it. Push him away, letting you know he can fight beings on his size, or even overpower the said beings. Bigger than bridges, got respect for him yet. During his battle feat, he has no problem picking up huge boats. Massive boats get picked up. The fact he seems to be big than mountains. Look at the highway versus way big. Beings in the way big species have literally destroyed planets. That let you know the way big species ain't no joke. They can even blast through sections of a large asteroid. Via Cosmic Ray, can casually destroy Gwen's shields, Cosmic Ray style. Sorry, Gwen. Get an idea of Way Big's blast power. Look what he did with his Cosmic Ray. This is impressive, destroying a piece of him, because this guy known as Malware, he can survive the destruction of this planet in a smaller form. Yet, Way Big, with his blast power, is able to harm this said being. He even overpowered the concrete ray, blast power wise, blasting the ship apart. He overpowered this said ray that can destroy Pluto, the same ray that he just deflected and overpowered. Yes, this is that same blast way big just blasted back with his blast power. This is the same conquest ray that destroyed Pluto in Alien Force. The reply, yes. Word of God and writer intent is my specialty. Writer intent is very important to further concrete his power. And more writer intent on the fact that Way Big can destroy a freaking planet. A small planet at least. Way Big, when it comes to blast power, basically just can produce over 53 quadrillion megatons of force, aka force powerful enough to destroy the Earth if he felt like it. And yes, Earth is considered a small planet when it comes to a lot of planets in our universe. Not to mention with his blast power, he can damage beings that bodies that can endure planets exploding on top of them. Injuring something with this level of density shows his blast power even more. Way big. And then there's the fact way big has an ultimate way big form. So whatever this form can do, this form can do better. So he's more than likely way past the planet ranges at this point. 
He can literally fly. He pulled this huge Dagon being out of the sky, something that dwarfs even him, showing that he's stronger than what his weight is by a lot. I'm going to do something fun for this video that I never normally do, right? Let's take a person in real life, right, that's about six foot and about 200 pounds. We already know way big is over hundreds of feet tall. One can even debate if he's 300 feet tall, but I'm a low ball way big's weight. Let's assume he has the same exact densities as, as us mere humans, so this is a massive low ball. Let's just say way big is 100 feet tall. That already makes him 16 times taller that would mean his weight would even be more than 16 times thanks to the square cube law something that's 16 times or even three times or whatever times bigger it's actually way more than three times as heavy because when you get taller that's only one metric but in real life when people get taller they get thicker they get wider and they get denser so that's the square cube law that would mean way big weights would be 16 times 16 times 16 so while way big is only 16 times taller that would mean that would make way big 4,000 plus times heavier that would mean way big at a bare bones minimum if we're just assuming he's a mere mortal like us humans has to be at least 400 tons assuming that he's 100 feet tall 400 tons as a megaloball even youtubers have calculated him the way way more than this this youtube i brought up earlier even calculated way big being almost 300 feet making his weight around 8,000 ton range so yeah it just depends on how you see it really this same chap estimated his weight they compared the metal that way big's made of to ordinary metal we know in real life he would weigh 40,000 metric tons so him to be able to pull something that weighs more than him out the air with his flight and ultimate mode is insane his blast power was able to hurt this being on his Dagon with his cosmic beams. This same Dagon is impressive. He was able to eat attacks from a planet busting sword. Like, you see this sword? Look at the raw power this sword can produce. See that? That sword. Dagon took attacks from the same sword. Kind of reminds me of Shuma Grass from Marvel. And Way Big's cosmic blast can hurt a being like this. Now he can shoot rapid fire cosmic ray. His speed is implied to be good. He's able to react to this ray mid flight. A laser, basically. He sent this garbage monster from Earth, showing he has some decent super speed. Like, yeah, he can move like a blur. Sent him all the way up there. Dude, what kind of crap is this? An evil way big was able to cover the moon and Earth by producing a cosmic storm that big. Yes, they can generate that much size. That big. Cosmic storm. He can do cosmic storm attacks destroying spaceships. Big as he is, he's actually skilled with combos. Like, we'll literally do some combos on the villain. Dropkick style. This same being Dagon got his tentacles cut. Same thing to ate that light sword that can destroy planets. Look how he can reflect attacks with speed. Like look at like how he deflects it like that against Dagon. Look at way big's cosmic storm in comparison to other planets. It kind of lets you know the scope of this being. Being able to react to those rays proves that he can react faster than light. Nothing new to the Ben 10 verse. Not to mention having energy projection. One could say he even can produce lightning if you go off of video games and stuff. It's something I wouldn't doubt he could do. I mean, he can create a cosmic storm. Shouldn't he have lightning manipulation too or strikes with water cyclones? Then you also got his performances with malware and Dagon to further prove his power. So yeah, you got to respect way big.